Happy Eclipse Day, everyone. You know, I didn't get to see the eclipse because it's cloudy today and we don't necessarily have the best view here in the Pacific Northwest. But if you did get to watch it, I hope that you didn't use these popular glasses from Beniki because they were recalled right before the eclipse happened. So that kind of seems like a little bit of a problem since most people who bought those glasses probably didn't get the message until after they used those glasses to view the eclipse. But I mean, hey, Trump looked directly at the eclipse without any glasses and he's fine, so I'm sure you'll be fine too. Now on the subject of Donald Trump and eclipses, Hillary Clinton decided to commemorate the day by sharing this picture of Trump looking directly into the sun without any glasses in 2017 to demonstrate how stupid he is. But as people quickly pointed out, this is kind of a self-own since she lost to this dumbass. As thick husband and father put it, you're right, ma'am, this guy looks like a fucking moron. You'd have to be one of the worst candidates of all time to lose to someone this dumb. And I mean, where's the lie? Now, when it comes to right-wing stupidity, a lot of leftist shit posters geared up for this event because I think that they expected many conspiracy theories about the eclipse. For example, they joked about glasses being woke and other accounts joked about how eclipse glasses were the new masks to see if conservatives would take the bait. But at least based on what I saw, it didn't seem like they did. Conservatives chose to trust the scientists here and they used those glasses to observe the eclipse, which I was genuinely heartened to see. I know that the bar is low, but conservatives not doing the opposite just for the sake of being contrarians was actually really pleasing to see. What if we did the logical thing when it comes to, you know, vaccines and listening to the scientists with regard to climate change as well. You know, maybe this is a start of a new trend. But I mean, I'm pleased to see that because they didn't follow in Trump's footsteps, right? Trump looked directly into the sun during the 2017 solar eclipse. And, you know, they didn't do the same thing. So good job, conservatives. Now, with that being said, it's not like there weren't conspiracies about the eclipse because there were. For example, the rapture was trending on Twitter for obvious reasons, because whenever there's some sort of an event like this or an eclipse, then there are rumors about the rapture taking place. And on top of that, Cat Turd tweeted out, funny how these once in a generation eclipses keep happening every five to 10 years. Hmm, must be a conspiracy. Now, Alex Jones made multiple tweets about the eclipse, one warning about the rituals that were going to be performed during the eclipse to usher in the new world order, which I guess is now here. So welcome, everyone. And another about how the solar eclipse will converge with CERN, Lucifer, the Vatican, and reptilian venom peptides. Now, I'm going to pause right here just in case you're lost. So the reason why the globalists planned these satanic rituals to coincide with the eclipse is because the eclipse symbolizes darkness and the evil depopulation agenda of said globalists, obviously. Now, that's a bit of an oversimplification, but there is a lengthy 27-minute long video where they talk about this at length on InfoWars, if you're interested. Not going to link to that down below, but I watched some of it, and um, it was certainly interesting. We'll put it that way. Now, of course, sitting lawmaker and conspiracy theorist Marjorie Taylor Greene also had some thoughts about the eclipse, saying, God is sending America strong signs to tell us to repent, earthquakes and eclipses and many more things to come. I pray that our country listens. Now, as you can see here, the community notes came in clutch saying Monday's eclipse was predicted hundreds of years ago. It will not have been caused by contemporary actions. They add earthquakes occur naturally and happen on average more than 30 times a day across the world, although many are too subtle to feel. Now, on top of that, people in Mexico and Canada were also able to see the eclipse. So was it a sign from God that they should repent as well or just Americans? Furthermore, is it not also a sign from God that you should repent, Marjorie? Because as this reply with 8,000 likes put it, have you repented for cheating on your husband and Brian Glenn's wife yet? You broke up two families and won't even admit you did it. Maybe you start at home before judging anyone else, you liar. Go Fred. Now, Fred was just one of many people mocking her for her hypocrisy and stupidity, so much so that she actually responded to all of the people making fun of her for saying that about the eclipse, writing on Twitter, many have mocked and scoffed at this point and even put community notes. Jesus talked about that in Luke 12, 54 to 56. Yes, eclipses are predictable and earthquakes happen and we know when comets are passing by. However, God created all of these things and uses them to be 
signs for those of us who believe. Oh, okay, that makes so much more sense now. Thank you for clarifying. Now, this person commented with an absolutely devastating response, writing, so you're doubling down by saying that your God, when forming the universe over 14 billion years ago, planned out that Americans would become more tolerant and accepting of those different than themselves in 2024, something Jesus taught people to do. So God planned a minor New Jersey earthquake and a solar eclipse in order to tell Americans to vote for Trump so that we can usher in an era of hatred, bigotry, and suffering. Yeah, that makes your initial tweet better. Absolutely devastating point by Jared here. Also, if eclipses were biblical, then why is it that astronomers are able to see them coming, but faith can't and the Bible can't? Checkmate, Christian nationalists. Now, I feel like we're getting a little bit too in the weeds here with conspiratorial conservatives, and I don't want what should be a lighthearted video to get too bogged down by overwhelming stupidity because we really don't have to go to the Marjorie Greens and the Alec Joneses of the world for stupidity about the eclipse because standard conservatives also did not disappoint. You know what I like about it too, Jonathan? I feel that it's full circle on the word corona. Right. Because right. we were all in the middle of the coronavirus right. for, you know, over three years. And it had such an obvious negative connotation. And now everyone's talking about the corona of the sun. Right. And it's something extraordinary and something uplifting. And also, I love that people have no, they're, they're, I can't really find any political agenda in this story. Can exactly. You? But I did feel bad for the corona beer during the coronavirus. Uh, now we don't <laughs> call it that anymore. And now we're back with it. But this is more of a positive element riveting commentary you know they're definitely worth being paid millions of dollars per year for that now she wasn't able to find a political agenda in that story which is kind of an interesting thought to have in the first place because i don't know if anybody sees an eclipse and thinks hmm i wonder how i can make this political very normal but She's kind of alone there because her colleagues over at Fox News certainly did find a way to tie this to a political story and an attack on Joe Biden. Rare celestial event collides with a policy failure on the ground. The southern border will be directly in the path of totality today when the moon covers the sun for nearly four minutes. And welcome to a brand new hour of America's Newsroom. I'm Dana Perino. We are one hour closer. We are. <laughs> we are. OK, first of all, what in the fuck is this? Second of all. I honestly have to give them credit for creativity because, of course, they think that the eclipse would be an opportune time for immigrants to jump the border when everyone else is distracted and looking up at the eclipse, just like Joe Biden planned it, maybe? I don't know. But just wait, because it gets even better. Uh, we are told that officials are bracing for higher traffic than usual, and that means a real opportunity for smugglers and cartels and migrants to come right in. Everybody's going to be looking up. If you're looking down here at the border, here's some of what you're going to see. Take a look at this video from nearby New Mexico which is seeing a surge of illegal alien evaders and gotaways. Our team shot this over the weekend in Sunland Park, New Mexico. You'll see uh, illegal immigrants dressed in dark clothing, sometimes camouflage, actively trying to sneak into the United States as suspected cartel scouts and coyotes watch from a mountain above. You'll see outnumbered Border Patrol agents trying to respond as these guys flood into the country, trying to sneak in. Eventually, you'll see one agent able to apprehend a couple of them, but it is a... You know what? If a migrant is able to sneak in while Border Patrol agents are distracted by the eclipse, maybe that's a sign from God. Maybe it's a sign that he wants them here. Perhaps God specifically made that eclipse just for them. Did you ever think about that? Of course not, because God is coincidentally in agreement with Republicans on 100 percent of the issues. And he'd much prefer those immigrants respect U.S. law because we all know how much God and in particular Jesus hated immigrants. Yeah, but I don't want to give you the impression that conservatives were the only ones being weird about the eclipse because the hosts over at CNN were on something because their coverage was so off the wall, but also pretty wholesome. Rosa. And to make sure we have that energy, Sarah, look at what I got there. I'm going to ward off the evil, the evil weather that's trying to kill this thing. This eclipse. I've got my dog Duke. I'm worried about what what I want to take him outside to watch it, but I, I suppose does he need his glasses too? What's the deal with that? Well, I've spent time with dogs. I've spoken at least two dogs quite a bit. They they if it's night they do their night thing. If it's day they yeah. do their day thing. I think Duke will be fine. Uh, I think if you try to get Duke to wear the 
eclipse glasses. Yeah. I'm predicting you won't have much success. I mean, you can I will. try it. But. I, I checked my magic uh, ball this morning, oh, and uh, it says no rain, and <laughs> and that. and we're going to be able to see it. I borrowed her crystal ball. <laughs> I'm looking through it. I do see some cloud cover right now, but I think. Wait, let me look. Uh, it is going to clear. We're going to be able to see this eclipse. Another interesting behavior was with the slow moving Galapagos tortoises. During the last eclipse, they began moving much faster and some started mating. Professor, I know the question everyone wants an answer to is well, what made the tortoises so randy? We have no idea. It seems crazy. I like to think that potentially in a long-lived species like this, a rare event like that could be a signal for mating, but it's probably a one-off. We don't know, but we're gonna find out because we're gonna be watching more tortoises today. <laughs> you have to wear the proper glasses if you're going to witness this eclipse. If your glasses look like this and you can put your finger through them, these are not good glasses. You're not going to protect your eyes. Um, Boris, are you required to call it a total bricklipse? Uh, <laughs> bricklips, as they say. Yes, Brianna has Brianna has threatened physical violence unless I refer I mean. to it as a bricklipse. Uh, we should give them a preview of some of the other things we're going to be seeing in the path of totality that we're going to be covering this afternoon. Oh my gosh, yes, that's right. But it's not just the bricklips; it's also Boris Sanchez. Sanchez, yeah. <laughs> I have Stephanie Elam right now in Russellville, Arkansas, in a hot air balloon with Kid Rock. I'm not going to lie. I actually enjoyed that. Sometimes it's nice to see pundits let their hair down and just stop acting like robots. And you can tell that they were having a lot of fun. So good for them. Also, it is objectively hilarious that that CNN host, a uh, Mr. Craig Wade Boyd for Kid Rock, in his defense, though, does kind of look like Kid Rock. Maybe there's Kid Rock and then Adult Rock, and Greg, <laughs> Craig Wayne Boyd is Adult Rock, or the non-tweaker version of Kid Rock. I don't know. But that's really all I've got for you. You know, this is a more lighthearted video to distract you from all of the terrible things happening in the world. So I hope it helped. Like everywhere there's glow. Mama. You see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Mama. My children are like, Mama, glow, 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 glow. I turn Mama. on TV, there's glow in the background. Every TV show, news media, glow, wow. Glow, 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 They're everywhere. Glow, 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 gl